You are welcome to Science Tutorials with Farmerton in the School Boy. Today we are going to take a look at pharmacology and we have a question on the board. The question says the routes of drug administration that gives the most rapid onset of the pharmacologic effect is A. Intramuscular injection B. Intravenous injection C. Intradermal injection D. Peroral administration E. Subcutaneous injection the question source is Comprehensive Pharmacy Review 8th edition by Leon Shager et al. page 78, study question 2. Now let's go. Before you can understand or can answer this question, you need to understand the understand the the subject matter. The subject matter here is the roots of what? Drug administration. There are different roots of drug administration. But I want to know from the what we have on the list here, the one that has the what? The most rapid onset of pharmacologic effects. Now, what is the relationship between the roots of administration and the, the rates or how fast the rate of what the effect the, the pharmacologic effect what is the relationship actually actually for a drug to exact pharmacologic effect the drug must must be absorbed into the what systemic circulation and the drug must be what must must get towards the site of what action so that means it, it must be what bioavailable and it must get to the site of action before it can exert its pharmacologic effect and the rate what we want to compare the rates now the rates at which this effect is felt is now what does it depend on the, the rate is not dependent on what the rate at which it appears in the what systemic circulation and the rate at which it gets to the what site of what action. Now, having established that, let's look at options. We we'll pick the different different routes. We we'll pick, we'll pick them one after the other, analyze them. And now bring out the one that will give us the what? The rapid, the most rapid onset of what? Pharmacologic effects. Now let's go. Option A says intramuscular. What is intramuscular injection? In intramuscular injection, the, the drug is injected deep into the what? The muscle. Now, the what happens there depends on at least three things. Number one is what? How vascularized is the muscle in question? Number two, the lipid solubility of the drug itself. And the formulation matrix. Now, even if the muscle in question is highly vascularized, the drug must be absorbed into the what? Into the what? Into, into the what? The, the vessels for it to leave the site of injection. So there's a delay in that in this absorption. This absorption will bring a big delay. Yes. So even though it may be rapid, depending on how vascularized the muscle is, but there's, also, there's a delay. So we take note of that delay caused by the absorption, process of, process of what? Absorption. Then let's look at, let's look at uh, option B. So there, there's a delay here. There's a delay here at all. 
There's a delay. So let's leave it at that. Look at option B. Intravenous injection. What is intravenous injection? An intravenous injection, especially that is intravenous bolus. In intravenous injection, anyway, whether it is intravenous bolus or intravenous infusion, the most probable thing is that what happens in the intravenous injection is that is that the drug is injected directly, directly into the vein, into the bloodstream. So there is no room delay when it comes to what absorption there's no, there's no absorption again because it goes straight into the bloodstream and start moving to going to the side of action so there, there is nothing like what absorption so there, there is no absorption here so there's no delay so the action we we commence as the as the least possible time without delay of absorption so i'll keep this for now let's go to option c what happens in option c option c says intradermal injection you can call this intradermal injection or intra cutaneous what injection the dermis is beneath the what the epidermis and the dermis is highly vascularized. The dermis is highly vascularized. Even though the dermis is highly vascularized, there is still need for what? Absorption. So there is also what? Delay. So here again, there is still what? Delay. Let's go to perora. Perora. Here, the drug may be in tablet form or suspension or solution is what? Swallowed or swallowed, yes. Let's use tablet for example. Swallowed enters the, the stomach. There it does what disintegrates. After that, dissolution down to the what do then what happens there? They have what absorption and absorption into the what mesenteric vessels. From there, mesenteric circulation. From there to the hepatic portal vein. From there to the liver for first pass and then to the systemic circulation before distribution this process is too long processes so there is a delay as a delay 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 here is much so there is also what delay so the the the, the pharmacology effect will not start immediately there is a delay too now let's go to option e subcutaneous injection in subcutaneous injection, subcutaneous layer of the skin is, in fact, is less vascularized. So, not just that it's less vascularized, apart from the normal delay of absorption, it is also what less vascularized. So, it will take much time. For the formal effect to, to be felt. So this one is that also what? Delay. Now let's go to the option. Look at all the options. There's a delay in intramuscular. There's a delay in intradermal. Delay in perola. De delay in perola. Delay in subcutaneous. But there's no delay in intravenous. So that means that intravenous will give us the what? The most rapid onset of pharmacologic effects. So the answer is what? B intravenous injection. Thank you very much for your attention. If you have any question, please feel free to chat me up on WhatsApp. My WhatsApp line is on the screen. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. We have three YouTube channels. There you will see entertaining videos. The first one is Susan Academy. The second one is Susan Limited. And my personal YouTube channel is Fermentanity, the school board. My name is Fermentanity, the school board. See you next time.